What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So Google just dropped Android 14 Beta 5 for anybody interested in testing it out. And this baby right here should be the final beta build. This should be our RC build, which is the release candidate. In other words, the final build before platform stability next month that will be releasing to all. This should come as no surprise as Samsung just actually announced their Android 14 beta program as well. So the timing on this aligns perfectly with everything that's been going on. For those of you that don't know, we've been running these betas. We have beta 4 on our Pixel Fold as soon as it came out. And it has been probably one of the best betas I've used. Running circles around what Apple's betas have been this year, if you follow the channel, you know we've been having an extremely uh, concerning amount of bugs, actually, in those builds. This I can't say the same for. This has been... I mean, we've been daily driving it, and it's been working great. We have not seen any of those type of bugs that we've experienced in iOS, so take that for what you want. But what I'm getting at is, if you're interested in trying Android 14 and you didn't jump on the Beta 4 bandwagon, this is definitely your safest bet and time to get on it. So, this video is going to be short and sweet. We know how Google does their betas. We're not anticipating any new features at this point. We might see some UI tweaks and all that. So for this video, again, we'll keep it short, we'll take a look at the build number, see if anything really stands out, see how cool the device is running. Battery is always the big question here, and today we're not going to have an answer to that, obviously, because we just don't have enough time running it. But, let's get into it, let's check it out, thumbs up this video, let us know down below in the comments, are you excited about Android 14? Let's go. So Android 14 Beta 5 just finished installing, and as we traditionally do, let's give it our old temperature check. And if you guys follow the channel, you know this is one thing we like to do during each beta release we get. And right off the bat, I can tell you it's a little warmer than normal. However, one big call out is this is significantly cooler than what an iPhone normally runs with when it's being updated. Now, having said all that, this update again did take probably about an hour and a half to install for 33 megs again. again Anybody at Google watching this video, let's see if we can work on this next time. That would be greatly appreciated just to speed things up. I know it's a different partition on the drive, so you can use your phone while it's updating, but I think a lot of us would just prefer quicker updates than what we have now with being able to use the device while it's updating. Maybe it's just me. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. So beyond that, you guys can see here, this build is now upb 5230 623.003.a1 fitting into that if you guys catch that drift uh, but beyond that from the limited time we've had using this so far I can tell you this is a massive bug release and we will throw up all of that on the screen now here so you can see what was all fixed there is a load of bug fixes in this build no new updates Unsurprisingly, it is exactly what we thought, and everything is so much smoother on this build, I am definitely, definitely happy about. We took a quick look in settings earlier, and definitely nothing stood out as far as user-facing changes. This most, I don't want to say most certainly, but this most likely, in my opinion, will be the final build before the actual final release candidate comes out here in the next few weeks or so. Probably looking at a September, first week of September maybe, release for this, possibly again a month later on the 10th or 11th, whenever that Monday is uh, or that week is to put us at a month after the last two betas, but this baby is definitely running very smooth. There is a new option that's coming to Android 14 as well uh, about connected devices, which is very nice. You're gonna be able to share your data and actually, possibly, um, any devices that are synced to the same Google account to share everything with. It'll make setups a lot easier, it'll make everything just flow a lot better. So you can see we've got a little hang up there, but let's just jump through some apps really quick like we traditionally do, and see what really pulls up. So everything it looks a little little jumpy on the scrolls here for the now feed or excuse me for the feed on the Chrome browser tab for the discover feed um, multitasking scrolls pretty well that was actually kind of interesting there that was the only spot we really saw yeah it's very janky right here maybe just needs to be optimized the Chrome app itself but 
that's definitely something that's not as smooth as everything else has been that we've been using. Jumping into YouTube. A little bit longer of a delay. Okay, you can see it didn't even open YouTube there when we opened the fold itself, but it opened right away there. I can tell you the scrolling is definitely a little jankier than what I was expecting here. We didn't experience that earlier. Let's see. It's much better here. Let's go to NFL.com. Um, yeah, it's being better now. So that was a little weird, but again, when you close it, unfortunately, it's not carrying on to the cover screen still. Yes, simply unlocking it will allow you to use it. But again, one of my call outs on our earlier video was how much more of an inconvenience this is when you actually could just on a Samsung Galaxy Fold, uh, close it and open it and be able to continue on without having to unlock the display. But again, not going to ramble on this video. We're looking pretty good here so far. I am definitely a fan of how everything is laid out, how it's really kind of come to be. Android 14 is looking like a massive update that I'm super excited about. So again, take a look at all these fixes. We're still not home yet, but this is definitely the home stretch. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Again, thumbs up this video, guys. We greatly appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.